Hey, this is my trail going between my place and my mum and dad's. And this is dangerous. It's overhanging tree hooked on another tree. A broken, a, a semi-fallen tree hooked to another tree. Now you see it's broken probably about, I don't know, about 20 feet off the ground is where it's broken. That comes down leaning on this little tree right across my trail. And I must deal with this before somebody gets killed. Okay, I got a cable. It's about 60, 65 feet long. This side has a cable clamp. This doesn't. But no cable clamp, no problem. Yeah, take this cable and braid a loop in it. Now this is a six, this has six strands on it plus a, a little cable in the center. I, I, I just stand back because this cable must be zoomed or, or this camera must be zoomed because I'm having trouble with my videos with it. So stand back. I haven't been able to figure out how to get right. Okay, this side I got three, right, this side I got, yeah, four strands, I'll get three, and then three plus the cable. Let's braid this back together. Something like that. So I'm going to do this for about, I'm going to pull this cable apart like this, unwind it for about four feet. Or even three feet is probably plenty. Yeah, this should be enough. Okay, I make a loop with it. interlocks and I braid it back together in a loop And then I just do the same with the other. Okay, until I get to this point, you see how this, this goes, I got a loop in the cable now. Now, to make it stronger and tougher, I braid a tail in it. I braid it back together in the tail. There you go, there's a, there's a loop made without using a single cable clamp. And it's stronger than that end with the cable, with the single cable clamp on, I guarantee it. We've used braided cable lines to pull D8s out of swamps, so braided, braided cable definitely works. Braided loops, I should say. Well... This may be a little small, but I'm going to put it to the test. I'm going to try the 240 on it. Well, this tractor was running today, so... They're running fairly recent. No joke. But it's done for almost the day. Well, I'll go for a little run with a little guy.
little guy in second gear. See what she says. And try to sound with that. Well, it looks like I win, and the 240 really wins. Well, this tractor did a great job. That tree's over a foot, but if it, if it wasn't rotten, well, if it wasn't rotten, it wouldn't have broke off and fell in the, to start with, but still, a foot, the button, I'm pulling it over with a 240, that's pretty impressive. It did break off, but still, this tractor did a good job. But one day, I was running back and forth with it and using it for just getting back and forth, basically. And it stuttered and quit on me, and I had to choke it pretty heavy to get, or heavily to get going. It's run good since I think there's some crap and, and stuff in it. I'm going to put some of this in. This is good stuff. For carbureted engine, it's, uh, it's a great additive. You put it in the gas, and what it is is it's a cleaning agent and a stabilizer, so it'll clean up, it'll clean the gum out of the carburetor. Me. There you go. Well, you guys have a great day. God bless. See you in the next video.